Yes, ma'am. Come on up. This is, they, they probably think like they're at the bank. You know, you got to, before the teller tells them to come up. Yes, ma'am, what's your name? Oh, my name is Betty. Say oh. again? Betty, B-E-T-T-Y. How, how are you doing? Fine. Good. How are you? I'm great, but I'll get better. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, first one, about chance. Um, what about quantum physics? What about quantum physics? Yeah. Excellent question. The great uh, physicist Richard Feynman, who is an atheist, says... If somebody tells you that they know what's going on at the quantum level, they're lying. All right? But is quantum physics supposed to be an explanation for how we got here? Is that the idea? Is that, is that why you're asking the question? Um, like, what's the role that like, God is playing in quantum physics? Okay. Well, some people try and say that the quantum vacuum is a... A substitute for God somehow. There was a, a physicist by the name of Lawrence Krauss who wrote a book about five years ago called A Universe from Nothing, in which he says that the universe could come into existence out of nothing without God. The problem is his definition of nothing wasn't really nothing. It was something. It was the quantum vacuum. And the quantum vacuum is still something. Even if our universe came out of a quantum vacuum, by the way, quantum means the very small, the subatomic world. Even if the universe were to come out of a quantum vacuum, you still have to explain where the quantum vacuum came from. And so it doesn't help the atheist. Um, in fact, even atheists who read uh, Krauss's book said it's got problems because he's not providing the proper definition of nothing. His nothing is something. It's not non-being. And actually, I wrote about the problems with his book in the uh, first chapter of Stealing from God. So the quantum vacuum doesn't affect whether or not God exists or not. And some say that at the quantum level, things happen that are uncaused. That things just happen uncaused. And that may be what you're referring to. The problem is, is we don't know that. Why? Because in order to observe the quantum level, we have to disturb the quantum level. And it, it might be that our very disturbance of the quantum level is causing these unpredictable things to go on. It would be like sticking your head in a beehive and wondering why the bees are buzzing around. Because you put your head in there, right? So Heisenberg uncertainty principle says this. It says we can't predict the simultaneous speed and location of a subatomic particle. It does not say that subatomic particles are uncaused. It just says we can't predict the simultaneous speed and location. And the reason for that is, in order to predict them, we have to disturb it in order to see it. So it's a confusion when some atheists say, well, things are happening at the quantum level uncaused. Maybe, but maybe not. We don't know. We can't observe it without disturbing it. Does that make sense?